Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today I have important news. SMCI, that is a stock symbol, Super Micro. They have fraudulent activities. The SEC has sued them. And you need to get in touch with the law firm if you've owned SMCI stock. By the way, welcome. Stop Struggling Now gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you so much for being here. Please share the videos because you never know who's here looking for information. Like last night, Matthew Lesko, the guy you've seen on infomercials who helps people get grants. He was here helping people get grants. So check out the live stream and the replay live stream and the replay video that we have here on our website. Now, let's get into the SMC I problem because once again we're here at the stop struggling now YouTube channel page why because YouTube is kind enough to show a few of our members over here on the right hand side I would love if you hit the join button to get that icon next to your name because on Wednesday nights members of the channel are the only ones that can be in the live stream chat room and under the community tab members you receive special messages specifically for you you also receive the link to get into any live stream and you also can join me on any live stream. And if you're camera shy, just turn off your camera. We're still going to hear your voice. Now, that's just for starters. You have special emojis as well that you may or may not know about. So please join the channel. And that would be greatly appreciated. That helps with a little financial as we do this. Now, let's get into the SMCI fraud. Here it is. It says, as you can see, SMCI fraud news. Super microcomputer sued for securities fraud. After stock plummets 20%, investors with losses urged to contact BFA law by October 29 court deadline. Can you believe this? This just came out October 26. Where did I get this? It's courtesy of Mr. Financial. Brian P. sent this to me. I wish I would have known about it three days ago because that deadline is today, October 29th. Oftentimes, the court will extend the deadline, especially if the law firm tries to get it extended. I don't know the disposition of the court deadline, which is today, but I'm getting this out. It's the 29th. People, if you you belong in the SMCI family. I suggest you join them and find out what the hell's going on. I can't say too much, but here it is. What is the lawsuit about for everybody on the podcast? The complaint alleges that Super Micro Computer, I'll use SMCI from now on, is one of the largest providers of high performance and high efficiency servers. The complaint alleges that during the relevant period, the company misrepresented that its one financial statements were prepared in accordance with the general accounting principles gap oh my that's a problem number two internal controls over financial reporting were effective three robust gross margins were sustainable and driven by legitimate business factors oh my and four they're claiming the opposite it's not legitimate but they're saying it was legitimate that's a problem for smci did not sell products in russia during fiscal years 2023 and 2024 in purported compliance with relevant trade control regulations oh my on August 6, 2024, SMCI revealed a significant decline in its gross margin attributed to increased production costs that could no longer be passed on to customers. On this news, the price of SMCI stock declined 20% 
from $616.94 per share to $492.70 per share on August 7th. Oh my, and guess who's in the mix? Hindenburg Research. Ah, August 27th, they republished a report that provided the evidence of SMCI's glaring accounting red flags, evidence of undisclosed related party transactions, sanctions, and export control failures and customer issues. Oh my, they went against sanctions? This is a problem. They got problems. All right, I'm not going to go too much more, but down below in the description box, I'll have this link to super uh, the BFA law offices again that you can go to and I'll have a link for this article also down below in the description box if it's after October 29th when you find this video I suggest you still contact them you can always add complainants to a lawsuit later but they like to know how many people were affected up front. So when they go to court, they'll say, hey, man, there was like 100 people affected or 500 people affected or 1,000 people affected. They need to know. So that's why if you feel you were wrongly bamboozled, then you should be contacting them. I will say this. After August 27th, let's go to the next day, August 28th, 2024, SMCI announced that it would not timely file its annual report on 10k oh my for the fiscal year ended june 30th 2024 okay you can get an extension but you only have an x amount of time this news caused the price of smci stock to decline more than 19 percent from five four hundred five hundred forty seven dollars and sixty four cent per share on august 27th to four hundred and forty three dollars and forty nine cents per share on august 28th this is a problem and now here goes another dagger finally on september 26 the wall street journal reported that the united states department of justice had initiated an investigation into the company that means automatic drop on this news the price of SMCI stock declined more than 12% from $458.15 per share on September 25, 2024 to $402.40 per share on September 26, 2024. What can you do? If you are invested in Super Microcomputer Inc., you may have legal options are encouraged to submit your information to the firm. All representation is on a contingency fee basis. There is no cost to you. Shareholders are not responsible for any court costs or expenses of litigation. The firm will seek court approval for any potential fees and expenses. So again, that casino, here it is. These links will be down below. They're the same link as you can see on the screen. So once again, you find out these corporations are gaming the system. And once again, you are a victim to the gaming except for all those that were able to when the stock price went from 200 to 300 to 500 to 800 to a thousand dollars a lot of people made money how will that go over and you know the executives of the corporation made oodles and oodles of it billions of dollars how will that be clawed back but this does not look good going against sanctions saying you're selling to companies and saying you're not this does not look good. The SEC is after them. And once again, this is why a lot of business people want a certain person to win. I'm just saying, this is what it has to do with. So they can game the system without repercussions. And again, get to the SMCI BFA law offices immediately. Even if this is after October 29th when you see this. And with all that said... Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And every time we turn around, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here trying to stop struggling now. And we see that we're being taken advantage of. You see what's happening out here. Price gouging, taking advantage of us. Just doing whatever they want to do. Hey, there's a problem in the Middle East. Oil prices go up, even though the oil is already sitting in the ground at the current price and sitting in tankers and trucks that have nothing to do with the war 
that would in, in, erupt in the Middle East. Watch your pennies. I've said this before and I'll say it again. My prediction of five years went well, bad, as the middle class got wiped out. Now you have three years for the upper middle class to be wiped out. Make your plans right now for your financial freedom. You're going to have to buy assets. You're going to have to buy assets that pay you while you're sleeping if you can find them. So make sure you're out there looking for them. And with all that said, keep your head up. Keep moving. And thank you for watching. And I'm out.